four days and counting until the big super rematch between the New England Patriots and the New York Giants. And the news continues to be encouraging for the tight end Rob Gronkowski. Now he was again spotted without a boot on his injured ankle at yesterday's media day and says it feels much better every day. For the latest on what's happening today in Indianapolis, we're going to check in with our very own Danielle North live outside Radio Row. And Danielle, I can already feel the excitement. Oh yeah, inside Radio Row right now, you've got a ton of these uh, radio broadcasters from all over the country preparing for their shows this morning. But another piece of exciting news today really is the day that we have been waiting for. It's to have you New England fans finally get here. Uh, we checked in with Indianapolis International Airport this morning. The first flights were starting to arrive at 9 a.m., continuing straight, straight through till 9 p.m. tonight. So a lot of planes coming in with fans from the New England area. But one of the things we've already heard from, from people who've been here for a few days is that they are really impressed by some of the personal touches that have been splashed throughout Super Bowl week, including the Super Scarves program. Uh, the host committee putting up the call for handmade scarves just in Indiana. They ended up getting a whole heck of a lot more than that from all over the country, including for people in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. And now team members and volunteers have been wearing their scarves throughout Super Bowl week. I'm 81 years old and I've been crocheting since I was 16. They arrive in the mail, handmade with a warm personal note, ready to be wrapped around the thousands of Super Bowl volunteers weaving their way through Indianapolis. We got one from New England! Months ago, the Super Bowl host committee had hoped for 8,000 of these scarves to come from talented Indiana residents. They got 13,000. It became viral very quickly. We didn't know there was this underground knitting and crocheting world. And so we have received scarves from 45 states, Washington, D.C., and four countries beyond the United States. And some of these knitters and crocheters went above and beyond, sharing their time and talent many times over. One out of every 32 volunteers is wearing a Bev Mesker crocheted scarf. You're looking at 750 hours that one person dedicated to the volunteer effort for our Super Bowls. Mine was made by Katie Pat. So scattered throughout Super Bowl Village, even on an almost 60 degree day, you'll see these scarves and now you know some of their stories. Grandmothers, single moms, and even a group of male prisoners working to reacclimate into society, all putting their personal touch on this big Super Bowl week. When they first learned their product maybe wasn't as perfect as they wanted it to be and so one of the gentlemen conveyed that in his story about why he thought it was cool to be involved because he said you know, when I first was in here, I maybe wasn't as perfect as I should be, but he said, look at my product now. And we do want to make a quick shout out to someone in Rhode Island who did make one of those scarves, Pat from West Greenwich. The Super Bowl host committee received your scarf. They loved it and one of the volunteers is wearing it this week. Also a quick reminder, there's so much going on here that we just can't bring you all of the stories, all of the pictures, all the characters in our live broadcast. So we want to encourage you to check out our Super Bowl blog on foxprovidence.com and also wpri.com. We've been taking a lot of photos behind the scenes. There's other stories to tell so we hope you can check those out. We will be back tomorrow morning bright and early with another live report from Indianapolis but for now, reporting from inside the JW Marriott in downtown Indy, I'm Danielle North for The Roadshow.